What if I told you I could take a sphere and mathematically prove that I can break it into pieces and reassemble them into two spheres, both the same size as the original? You'd say I was crazy, but according to the Banach-Tarski theorem, it's completely possible. Say if you dropped a bowling ball and broke it into pieces. Obviously, you wouldn't be able to put together two new bowling balls identical to the first one. The Banach-Tarski theorem works because it's not a physical sphere made of real atoms, but rather a mathematically defined sphere, which is an infinite collection of points that we're talking about. Let's look at the set of whole numbers from 1 to infinity. Clearly, this set is infinitely large. Now let's consider the set of even numbers and the set of odd numbers. You might say there are half as many numbers in the even set as the original set, since we take every other number. However, since every whole number multiplied by 2 corresponds with an even number, the set of even numbers is also infinitely large. The same can be said for the set of odd numbers. Therefore, the sets of even and odd numbers are both infinitely large. We have just created two sets out of one, where all three are infinitely large. And that's how, with an infinite collection of points, you can turn one sphere into two identical spheres.